Hello dear students, here it is our question, very very important because this is one of the previous years board question. Prove that tan a upon secant a minus 1 plus tan a upon secant a plus 1 is equals to 2 cosecant a. So we have to prove that this plus this is equals to this. For that, I will take LHS part. Take LHS that is tan A upon secant A minus 1 plus tan A upon secant A plus 1. So, further, so both of these terms have tan A common. So, take tan A common, tan A common, then here I have 1 upon secant A minus 1 plus 1 upon secant a plus 1. Now, to add these two terms, we will take LCM tan a into here uh, there is no commonality. So, we will multiply both of them. So, secant a minus 1 into secant a plus 1 is LCM. Secant a minus 1, this denominator divides this LCM. Secant a minus 1, secant a minus 1 gets cancelled. Secant a plus 1 times secant a plus 1 into 1, secant a plus 1 plus secant a plus 1 divides this LCM secant a minus 1 times, which means these two gets cancelled, we will have with this, this into 1, secant a minus 1, clear? Now, here plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled, then we have tan a secant a plus secant a. 2 secant a, 2 secant a upon and the denominator it looks like which is nothing but a minus b into a plus b. So, we can rewrite this a square minus b square like and this becomes secant square a minus 1 square. Since a minus b into a plus b which is equals to a square minus b square. Again, this can be rewritten as 2 into tan A into secant A upon secant square A minus 1 square is 1. Again, by known trigonometric identity that is secant square theta minus tan square theta is equals to 1. From this, if you take this tan square into this side and 1 into this side, then secant square theta minus 1 is equals to tan square theta. So, we can replace secant square a minus 1 with tan square theta, which means tan square a. Then 2 tan a into secant a upon, upon tan square a. Now, both numerator and denominator tan in tan square a one times gets cancelled. Then we have here 2 secant a upon tan a. Again, this can be rewritten as 2 into secant a secant a into 1 upon tan a 1 upon tan a. Again, by known trigonometric uh, relations between uh, all uh, trigonometric ratios that is secant theta is equals to 1 upon cos theta again tan theta is equals to so in combination sin and cos that is sin theta upon cos theta so the relation between sin theta and cos theta in tans that is sin theta upon cos theta equals to tan and the relation between secant and cos both are reciprocal to each other right. Then uh, we have here 2 into secant theta secant a this can be written as 1 upon cos a into 1 upon tan a which is nothing but sin theta upon cos theta tan theta is 1 upon tan theta reciprocal which means reversal then cos a upon sin a clear 
here cos a cos a gets cancelled one time then we left with 2 into 1 upon sin a again 1 upon sin a is nothing but cosecant a since 1 upon sin theta is equals to cosecant theta since both are reciprocal to each other then this becomes 2 cosecant a this is our required rhs therefore lhs is equals to rhs hence the proof clear we look at once again we have to prove that this plus this is equals to this for that we have taken lhs part and taken tan a common and remaining terms we have added by taking L lcm and we got uh, tan a into 2 secant a upon secant square a minus 1 square because again in denominator it looks like a minus b into a plus b which is nothing but a square minus b square again secant square a minus uh, 1 is nothing but tan square a because by known trigonometric identity again tan and tan square a one time it gets cancelled then we left with 2 secant a upon tan a again secant a is nothing but 1 upon cos a tan a is nothing but cos a upon sin a cos a cos a gets cancelled and we left 2 into 1 upon sin a here sin a 1 upon sin a is nothing but cosecant a then uh, we got 2 into cosecant a which is our required rhs so lhs is equals to rhs so hence it is proved this is it